my lovelies hello it's emmy welcome back today i'm going to be eating treats from thailand so if you're not familiar with the emmy eats series i shall point you to the playlist where you can watch me eat treats from all over the world these were all very graciously sent to me by my beautiful viewers so today's package comes from thailand and lovely Eam sent me this package of thai treats that include some insects so entomophagy is the practice of eating insects it's widely done all around the world although in the west it's seen with a little bit of skepticism <laughs> but i've eaten plenty of insects and i do have an insect eating playlist i'll put that link up here so thailand is a beautiful country located in southeast asia and has a equally beautiful food culture including lots of snacks and street foods this is a pretty common snack and these are silkworm pupa I believe you can eat these fresh from street vendors. This is a packaged version and these are... So silkworms eat mulberry leaves and when they're ready to transform into a moth, they make a little casing or cocoon around themselves out of silk. And inside the cocoon, they pupate and transform into a moth. And this is actually what's inside that cocoon. So the casing or cocoon that the silkworm produces is harvested and is then spun into beautiful silk. So I'm imagining these pupa are the byproduct of that industry. Waste well, not, want not, right? Silkworm pupa are also eaten in Korea. You can buy them in a can, and if you missed that video, again, I'll put the links there and there as well. Mmm. They smell really nutty. There they are, and they look like little snacks as well, except they're little critters. Here's what they look like up close. So yeah, if you flip it over, there's a little face. You can see some eyes and, you know, legs or something. And there are little segments in its body. They're very, very light, kind of like a Cheeto. All right, here we go. Mmm. Wow. Those are, ooh, crunchy. <laughs> Those are really nicely seasoned. Mm hmm. I think the first one I had had a little bit of an uneven distribution of flavoring. The first one was very, very salty and seasoned. The other ones are much lighter. They're yummy. Mm. There seems to be a little bit of variation between different specimens of pupa. Some are crunchier, as you might have heard, and some are lighter. I'm guessing that might have to do with the stage of development. Perhaps some of these are older or younger than each other, so more things are developed and therefore crunchier. Mm. The texture is very, very light and crumbly, kind of like a cheese puff, light, airy quality to it, but much more kind of crumblier. And in terms of flavor, they're delicious. They're smoky, salty, sweet, mm-hmm, and kind of mushroomy, delicious. I much prefer this crisp, light, fried version to the wet version that I had in my previous video. Yes, the texture of this is much more pleasant. Mm -hmm. the flavor is much better too. Yum. So a lot of you have asked, do my sons eat any of the things that I eat on camera? And the answer is yes. Whenever I'm done filming, I have leftovers and I always offer them to my boys to see if they want to try them. And oftentimes my younger son will say no thanks, but my older son is a little bit more adventuresome and he will often try it. And if he doesn't like it, he doesn't like it, but he gives it a taste and says, hmm, not bad, pretty good, or no thanks. As a parent, that's pretty important to me. I want to raise adventuresome eaters. So yeah, I'm all about sharing. I just boiled some water. So while my water's hot, I'm going to make this. And this is a milk tea. Actually, it's a rice berry milk tea. Everything is in Thai, so I'm not exactly sure what rice berry is, but I love milk tea, so let's give it a go. All right, let's add that to there. Dissolves very readily. Mmm, smells good. All right, let's give that a go. Cheers. Mmm. It tastes like non-dairy creamer. It has that kind of dried, evaporated milk flavor to it. And I do taste a bit of black tea. I don't detect any rice berry flavor, although I don't know what that's supposed to taste like. And these are barbecue flavored crickets, as you can see down here. I've also had crickets before. I've actually made chocolate chip cookies with cricket flour. Again, I will put the link down below. These smell very musky mm -hmm, and earthy. 
That's good. All right, here are the crickets. Oh, these are cute. Look at those. Lots of little cricket pieces. I see some heads and some legs there. This is also probably a good time to mention that the past two years, I've done the five days of bugmas, which I do a countdown to Christmas eating bugs. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it this year. All right, let's get back to cricket eating. Here we go. Ooh. Those are great. Crisp, light, airy. They have a bigger crunch than the silkworms, which I appreciate. I like the little crackly crunch to that. Perfect little snack food. These are really nicely seasoned. The seasoning is savory, kind of smoky, MSG for sure. Delightful. I could eat these all day. Mm. Next I have Thai Lay's potato chips. Check these out. So this is two in one and Eames says that this is grilled shrimp and Thai seafood sauce flavor. Oh, they smell great. A little bit shrimpy, but not unpleasant. All right, let's see those. All right, so these are ridged potato chips. They're kind of like ruffles. Let's give them a go. Wow. I've never had a potato chip like that before. And now that I've had three, they're pretty good. Mm-hmm. Completely different flavor profile than any potato chip that I've ever had in the States, that's for sure. Initially, it's a little bit sweet, and then the savory components start to come on, and definitely salty, and has a muskiness, kind of seafoody muskiness that's not unpleasant. Quite good, actually and a significant amount of sweetness too, but not as much as some Korean snacks that I have, which are very, very sweet, but significant. There's, there's a tiny bit of heat too, just a little bit of warmth to kind of tickle your palate. Very, very complex flavors going on there. There's a little bit of tanginess too. Tanginess, muskiness, kind of shrimpiness. In terms of texture, it's just like a Ruffles potato chip, kind of that light ridged crunch, but in flavor. Totally wild, delicious. Next, I'm gonna try this little can of treats. And these are pumpu, and these are fried baby clams with chili. Doesn't that sound great? And you can feel them shaking inside. Sound a little leathery. Ooh, here they are, look at that. Spread these out so you can see them. And there's a little siphon. I unfortunately don't know my bivalve <laughs> physiology all that well. All right, here we go. Mm. As you can probably hear, these are quite resilient, rubbery, and kind of squeaky. They remind me a lot of cuttlefish or squid jerky. This too also has a similar flavor to that. It's kind of musky, very briny, slightly stinky and smoky. These are sweetened with a sweet chili sauce. Mm-hmm. but you can still taste the flavor of the clam, which is a little bit metallic, minerally, and oceany. They're quite good. And there's a little bit of chili oil in there as well. So this has a little bit of heat, more so than anything else I've had so far. Delicious. I think these would be fantastic with rice. These are fried enoki mushrooms. Yeah, you often see them in soups and stews in Japanese cooking, in nabe, for example, but I've never had them fried before. Ooh, look at that! Look how fine they are. Here's an example of a single mushroom with its little mushroom cap on top. All right, let's give that a go. Ooh, oh, those are great. Excellent crunch, super umami flavor. That elusive kind of sweet and salty and just addictively delicious flavor. This is jam packed with it. And it has some heat, which I'm feeling right now. Mm. Next I have these. 
And these are called Oksuno. And these are a great source of calcium. <laughs> and these are little shrimp snacks. You can see the little picture of them here. And these are Tom Yum flavored, which is a lovely spicy sour soup. Oh, wonderful, look at that. So this is actually the whole entire shrimp. Yeah, I wonder if these are a byproduct of like the peeled shrimp industry because these look like they're just legs, nothing but legs. Mm. Tasty legs they are. Mm -hmm. Again, a really nice snacky crunch fried without being overly heavy or oily. While these taste just like shrimp chips, they have that great shrimpy concentrated flavor. These have a different texture. It has a more varied crunch. Some bits are a little bit firmer. Some bits are a little bit lighter as opposed to a shrimp chip where it's just quite homogenous and even, but delicious. And lastly, we have another pack of chips. These are Lay's chips. Again, we have this waffle cut and these are sweet basil flavor. These chips have a slight orange yellow hue to them. And if you look carefully, there's little specks on there that look a lot like black pepper. All right, let's give those a go. Hmm. Those are great. I'm trying to see if they taste like sweet basil. Not that I can tell, but they're delicious. Mmm. <laughs> It tastes a little bit like instant noodle bouillon from a Thai noodle packet. I don't taste any basil necessarily, a little bit of sweetness, some black pepper, but scrumptious. Mm -hmm. All right, so that wraps up this tasting of Thailand Eames. Thank you so much for sending me this package of treats. So many interesting things that I've never tasted before and just wonderful textures and flavors. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learned something. Share this video with your friends and be sure to follow me on social media. Check out my Insta story for a little behind the scenes of what I do every day and I shall see my next one. Toodaloo, take care, bye. <laughs>